Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our educational webinar performed by Avimed Medical Center specialists and specialists from Avimed Family Agency. Uh, we are glad to see you, um, that you are joining our webinar. Uh, my name is Irina Doroshenko. I'm a medical specialist from Avimed Family Agency in Avimed Clinic. And today I will moderate this webinar. Our today's topic is uh, frequently asking questions about surrogacy programs at IVMED Family Agency and IVMED Clinic. As far as we know, we, you have a lot of questions connected with surrogacy process, how we perform our programs, uh, what, um, how we care about surrogates, and today I will hope that you will receive all the answers. Uh, I want to introduce today's speakers. It's um, uh, Nadia Melinevska, uh, PhD in Biology, Head of International Department of Customer Servicing at Medical Center IVMED and D Director at IVMED Family Agency, um, Surrogacy Agency, and Natalia Radchenko, PhD in Biology, Head of Oocyte Donor and Surrogate Mother's Coordination Department. Um, and today, um, Nadia Davidovska, she is uh, also our medical coordinator. She will help us with translations um, during the webinar. Um, I think I just want to remind you that we have our general chat. Despite of our questions that uh, you will see in our presentations, please feel free to ask any questions. Uh, we will answer at the end of, of the presentation. I think we can start. And uh, the first question uh, that we received from you is uh, how long does the entire process take and start to finish? Uh, I think it's Nadia, it's a question to you. Um, hello everybody, uh, thank you for your interest uh, in our webinars. Um, uh, the question regarding how long it takes uh, the process, the whole process of surrogacy program uh, we can uh, advise you that it may take about one and a half uh, year, uh, starting from the uh, IVF cycle, all documents preparation, and then embryo transfer to surrogate mother. Uh, if to uh, calculate in uh, some ideal case, it may take one year, but we should uh, take into account that sometimes will need will be needed for searching for sur surrogate candidate, and then uh, we should match all time uh, frames which are convenient for uh, intended parents and for surrogate mother. Also, if uh, the program includes uh, egg donation cycle, uh, we should also add some time for. Uh, egg donor stimulation, matching uh, egg donor's menstrual period. Uh, so it may a little bit impact on the whole time uh, which will be uh, needed for the whole process. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question, is there a waiting time for surrogates or egg donor? Um, the same question. Uh, similar to the previous, so um, usually we declare that we can uh, propose you candidates for surrogacy within three months. If there are some available candidates, it can be, of course, much more faster. Uh, but usually we just, uh, again, declare up to three months. With egg donors, with egg donors, uh, it depends. Uh, it depends on menstrual cycle of egg donor and the availability of this egg donor. Um, perhaps egg donor may be between stimulations. So you will have to wait, for example, if you have cho chosen this egg donor, which you really like, and you want to wait for this egg donor, it may take up to two, three months uh, for the rest period. If uh, this egg donor uh, is available for stimulation, it depends only on uh, uh, her um, menstrual cycle. 
Okay, thank you for the answer. Uh, the next one, um, are legal fees included in the contract? What are the exact time for us to leave our country and do you facilitate us with all the correct doc documents? Uh, of course, um, of course, there are um, some parts of surrogacy program which uh, obligatory includes uh, legal services. That is uh, that is the fi uh, the first step of this program, and that is the final step of this program. As you understand, you should start correctly surrogacy program. Uh, our lawyers will check all your documents because it is very important. Uh, on final st steps um, to check whether all your documents like marriage certificates, some um, your um, other documents correspond to the requirements of your country when you will leave the country with the child from our requirements of your embassy. And uh, also there should not be problems with registering baby in registry office uh, after childbirth. Um, that is why our lawyers check carefully all documents. Uh, during the program, uh, we follow the advices of uh, partner lawyers or our lawyers. It depends on the, uh, some specific of legislation of different countries and we collect all needed documents uh, up to the final stage. On final stage, uh, again, both uh, can be, um, it can be work of our lawyers, it can be uh, the partner lawyers involved. All their services are included in our contracts, uh, no matter which country it is. And um, uh, of course, uh, it depends which fees do you mean uh, for example fee for registration of the child some apostle making uh, it is included if your embassy will need some fees just extra payments for their processing of documents inside the embassy um, uh, yes it is additional but it's not so sufficient payments that will impact on the program price and um, what the exit time? Uh, again, it depends on uh, your country. Uh, for example, um, these questions uh, more frequently uh, come to us from Irish couples. And uh, for Irish couples, we can uh, confirm that the process, exit process may take, uh, in, when if all documents are in order, it may take up to one and a half months. Um, actually uh, it can be faster but um, usually we we uh, say that it is up to one and a half uh, and uh, we never had uh, some delays uh, after this term okay thank you uh, the next question how long has the clinic been in operation what is your success rate uh, the clinic was founded uh, seven years ago. Uh, since that time, we successfully work and uh, provide patients with all kinds of IVF programs, uh, with own cells, with activation. Uh, we also recently we added to our services uh, modern techniques like uh, pre-nuclear transfer, uh, mitochondrial donation, sperm cell transfer which help some in some cases when it is not possible to take blastocyst culture in a couple but they want to save their and to transfer their genetic material to embryos and uh, uh, the success rate uh, in our programs with egg donation in, in surrogacy programs about 85 uh, percent this is um, for we calculated due to two attempts of embryo transfer and um, with own cells and surrogacy about 80 percent okay thank you uh, the next one are there clinic success rates um sorry with um, rates with live births 
Um, again, as you can see, it is 82%, um, quite high, and we are proud of this result. Okay. Um, the next one, uh, if, what if there is a breakdown in the process? Uh, what happens if the embryo transfer fails? Uh, what happens if there is a miscarriage? Uh, what happens if we decide to abort the baby due to expected poor quality of life? A couple of questions. Mm -hmm. um, so about the breakdown in the process, uh, what happens if embryo transfer fails? Um, as we understand, this question uh, can be um, explain, explained uh, in both ways. So we have two types of programs. One type of program uh, that is standard programs, and um, uh, the second type of programs that is guaranteed programs. In guaranteed programs, we consider that we do we perform transfers one by one until we get the result um, live child. And um, uh, in case if in guaranteed program uh, embryo transfer fails, so we move to the next embryo transfer. Uh, if um, all embryos are gone in this program, so we repeat the IVF cycle and uh, proceed with transfers. Uh, in standard programs, it depends on your conditions. Usually, standard program includes two embryo transfer stands. Uh, if you want to add some uh, options, if you want to proceed with embryo transfers, you just need to pay additionally for the next embryo transfer. So again, it depends on the program types. Type. Uh, what happens if there is a miscarriage? Again, if there is a miscarriage, in a standard program, you sign um, documents with uh, uh, not only contract with clinic, with um, surrogacy agency, you sign also notary contract uh, with surrogate mother. This contract considers that, um, for example, in standard program, you cover the compensation to surrogate mother. Uh, which is currently uh, from 200 uh, euro, if it, that was just usage of medication for abortion and um, or abortion and miscarriage. Um, and uh, for example, if there was a miscarriage with which need, needed hospitalization of surrogate mother, uh, we cover uh, on behalf of parents name we cover uh, 500 euro. Uh, all these expenses are included in a standard program as additional service, as additional compensations to surrogate mother. In guaranteed program, uh, these uh, expenses are being covered by agency. Uh, again, there will be uh, medical expenses also for hospitalization, but these uh, risks are included in program, both types. What happens if we decide to abort a baby due to expected pure, uh, poor quality of life? This question is not so simple and uh, again, depends on the case. Uh, only medical commission can confirm that baby is really uh, has uh, poor quality of life, expected poor quality of life. So this commission, the special uh, independent medical commission, which after um, consideration of uh, medical reports, ultrasound report, screening reports, uh, blood screening reports, biochemical tests, they confirm that yes, really uh, it, it, it somehow has no sense to proceed this pregnancy. So in this case of the confirmation, uh, yes, it is possible to make abortion. All other cases um, should be again considered uh, if something happened, if, if, if it is earlier than 20 weeks, 
So um, doctor, medical doctor, infertility center may decide to make abortion uh, if it is um, earlier term of pregnancy. Okay, thank next. you. Uh, the next one, uh, do you medically screen surrogates for diseases and mental health issues? How intensive is this screening? Uh, this question will be to Natalia. Uh, Nadia, please help us with translation. Вы проверяете медицинским образом сургатных матерей на наличие uh, болезней и проблем с ментальным здоровьем. Насколько обширным является этот скрининг? Добрый день, рада принимать участие в нашем семинаре и ответить на ваши вопросы. Клиника Айвинет проводит очень тщательное медицинское обследование наших кандидатов. Поэтому, когда мы предлагаем вам суррогатную маму, вы можете быть уверены, что она очень тщательно обследована на все возможные гинекологические заболевания, которые могут, быть вызван, которые могут вызвать проблемы с беременностью, вот, и спокойно с ней сотрудничать. Hello, I'm very happy to be present today at this webinar and to answer uh, your most frequently asked questions. So in IVMED clinic, uh, we do perform a very extensive screening of the surrogate mothers. And uh, when we offer you a candidate, this is uh, already ex extensively investigated uh, surrogate mother. Uh, and we are uh, sure that she has no uh, diseases or any mental health issues, so you can be sure that when you accept the offered candidate, uh, she is a healthy person. Next question. Uh, do you offer uh, psychological assessments for surrogates? Natalia, also to you. Вы предоставляете психологическую оценку состояния суррогатных матерей? Конечно. Во-первых, кандидатом суррогатной мамы стать может женщина, которая принесла нам специальный сертификат от психиатра, который оценку этот сертификат дают наши государственные специализированные учреждения. Что касаемо психологической помощи суррогатным мамам, у нас координаторы имеют навыки психолога и всегда готовы помочь суррогатной маме. При необходимости можем, мы можем предоставить профессиональную помощь психолога. Of course, we offer a psychological assessment for the surrogate mothers. The candidates to the uh, surrogacy are expected to uh, provide with the uh, medical certificate from the psychiatrist. Uh, to prove that they have no uh, psychiatric uh, issues. Uh, what is more, uh, we offer uh, psychologist consultations, so we assess the state of the surrogate mothers. Uh, our co personal coordinators also have a psychological background, so uh, if there is any need for any psychological assistance, our coordinators are always ready to, uh, to talk to the surrogate mother. Thank you. Uh, the next, um, do we offer a guaranteed baby program? And if so, how much does it cost? Uh, Nadia, please. Um, yes, we offer uh, guaranteed programs, as I told above. And um, uh, again, the cost of this program, we have the option of standard, so to say standard guaranteed program. It is uh, 48 thousand uh, euro. Uh, this program includes um, unlimited attempts of embryo transfers and until uh, live childbirth and uh, the second type it is combined type of programs when for example um, intended parents want to try for the last time their own stimulation uh, to get their cells for IVF and uh, they have a, an option just to transfer first before um, moving to egg donation program, uh, transfer their own embryos, and then they move to uh, guaranteed egg donation program. The cost of this program is uh, 50,000 euro. Um, so the question, we don't want to be liable to cover the medical cost for our surrogate, if things go wrong, uh, preeclampsia, uh, how do we ensure any um, unexpected medical costs for the surrogates are covered by our insurance? Um, you should understand one thing, there are no such special insurances in Ukraine. 
if somebody proposes you insurance, it is local insurance provided by your uh, services supplier. Uh, so, for example, uh, in our programs, all medical expenses for hospitalizations of surrogate mother and their emergency treatment are included in our programs. Um, and uh, uh, unexpected, again, uh, all medical costs can be unexpected. We cannot predict uh, what will happen. So we just understand the general average uh, level of expenses for medical, medical ex expenses and included uh, in programs. We sign, uh, sorry, what is the fee payment structure? Uh, fee payment structure, uh, again, for the program, it is divided to four steps. Uh, first step, that is the signing of contract, and this payment should be done before we start providing services. Um, for example, IVF cycle. Uh, then the next, the next payment step, it will be only approximately on fourth week when we uh, confirm with ultrasound checkup that there is really uh, a pregnancy detected. So you don't pay something that you don't understand. Um, the, third, the third step it is uh, approximately on 22nd week, 22nd week because uh, after that we um, there is no way back and uh, if um, we perform the screening uh, we can reconfirm during the second big screening that the fetus develops uh, normally it is we proceed with this pregnancy uh, so that is the third payment step and the final payment step that is um, after delivery when you have um, your uh, documents prepared, exit documents prepared, so you just uh, pay the final step. That is for medical contract and for uh, support contract. Uh, regarding surrogate mother, you just uh, pay the final step, the final compensation. Um, all other payments are included in uh, payment steps within medical and uh, support contracts. And uh, also uh, depends on country, requirements of embassies. We divide the final payment to, uh, for example, final uh, amount of final payment plus 1,000, uh, which this uh, final 1,000 euro, for example, will be paid to surrogate mother after completion of all documents preparation, I mean, exit process. And uh, what are the hidden costs? Um, again, it depends what you mean uh, regarding hidden costs. We um, announce to our patients all possible costs that they can spend during the program. Usually all of them are included in our programs. Uh, we uh, give them a list of additional uh, services that they may need within this program. Usually. Uh, it is quite rare that there should be something specific that you um, have to pay. And uh, anyway, all expenses will be agreed with you in advance. There will not be such situation that you, we just did something and tell, tell you that please pay for this, uh, this extra costs, but you even uh, did not know about them. Uh, so that is excluded. Let's move to next slide. Okay, do you have to pay additional surrogate exp do we um, do you have uh, to pay additional surrogate expenses? Uh, if so, what are these four? Are they included in our contract? Um, again, it depends on standard or guaranteed program type. Additional expenses, uh, we consider that additional expenses in standard program, that is the compensation to surrogate mother for miscarriages and there are some um, like um, for close uh, on fifth months and uh, there are a category of additional payment in the end of the contract um, 
performance. For example, if there are caesarean section, if there are loss of organ, risk of loss of organ, um, uh, and uh, twin pregnancy, you pay additionally these compensations. These final additional compensations should be paid anyway in any type of program, guaranteed or standard. In guaranteed program, you have only this additional final uh, extra payments, but you do not have these extra payments during contract for miscarriages, for clothes, etc., etc. That is responsibility of agency. We cover these costs. Are legal fees included in contract? Uh, yes. Uh, does the contract cover payment to the surrogate if they have a miscarriage or hysterectomy? Um, again, um, yes. Uh, as I told above, uh, for in standard program, we cover uh, cost uh, for medical expenses. You cover cost for miscarriages. In guaranteed program, we cover both costs. Thank you. Uh, the next question, uh, why should we work with your clinic surrogacy agency? <laughs> yes, that is a common question, <laughs> popular. If you can, we move to the next page. <laughs> I can a little bit and explain um, what's the difference. Uh, because uh, you should understand there can be a different providers of uh, the support part of medical programs. For example, you can turn to agency, uh, separate agency and uh, ask them to match for you a clinic, um, maternity hospital, etc. Some, some separate services. All agencies work different, in different manner. Some of them just offer you the cost for their services, and uh, then you just pay due to invoices that they issue for you uh, regarding to um, money that were spent. Uh, maybe, maybe this payment plan is uh, convenient um, for you, but uh, if to consider sometimes, it is not. Uh, when you pay a package price, you understand that, uh, for example, uh, your agency has a strong limited task uh, to provide services within some um, standard budget. It, it, uh, makes, it makes easier the work of agency and it is more effective in uh, providing services. Uh, so purchasing uh, a package uh, for example, in some kind of agencies who provide such services, um, you can also consider, for example, the responsibilities of this agency. Of course, agency should be um, registered, proven organization. You can check uh, their um, references of their clients. Uh, it can be even new agency, uh, but uh, again, it depends how you can trust them. Uh, but uh, if there is a clinic agency, it means that uh, that is a reliable organization which uh, understands what does the uh, arrangement, arrangement and standards, uh, st arrangement of work uh, and uh, standards of work, what, what, what it is. Uh, we know that there is a time, time scheduling, there should be uh, strongly uh, arranged work of coordinators, of lawyers. There should be a standard for answering, time for answering your question. Uh, how we are responsible to provide um, some services for your surrogate mother. Because uh, unfortunately due to uh, this quarantine, quarantine uh, measures. And there, there were uh, some difficulties uh, with uh, providing services for surrogates uh, because there was uh, lockdown uh, with uh, uh, transport, public transport, and uh, tra transport between cities. And uh, we have heard about different unpleasant um, um, references 
regarding that some agencies um, refuse to uh, proceed uh, services providing for surrogates. So um, that is a um, bad standard of work. Uh, it is impossible in our organization. And uh, if you have heard something regarding something maybe not pleasant regarding the work of other agencies, clinic agencies, it doesn't mean that IVNet uh, clinic agency also has uh, some um, spoiled standard of work. So um, you can, you can uh, hear references from our clients regarding how best we react, how effectively we react, how we support our uh, patients. It is completely different. So um, we keep our promises and uh, you just can check it. <laughs> um you're welcome to check it uh if you there is uh, some um uh members of our agency team uh you can see we have a strong structure we have um, a senior coordinator we have coordinators um who are um which uh, whose work uh, are strongly uh, controlled and um, uh, this team, they are multilingual and they uh, can support patients in different, um, in different using different languages. Uh, you know, can you just move? Yeah, there's some uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese, German, French, Italian, Spanish uh, languages. They are available um, for your support. And the uh, beautiful uh, team of our coordinators for surrogate mothers, uh, they are very um, uh, active and uh, active girls. Uh, they are um, ready to be involved in any uh, particular case with surrogate mother. And Natalia, uh, <laughs> who is a speaker today, uh, she is. Uh, the head of this uh, department and uh, she coordinates also the work of uh, these coordinators and uh, she is uh, personally uh, responsible for pregnant surrogates. Uh, so we trust uh, Natalia um, from all our heart <laughs> and uh, she, <laughs> she is a really a proven person in this field. Thank you. Uh, the next question, how do you match surrogates to IPs? Uh, will you give us options? Uh, Natalia, please. Следующий вопрос. Как вы подбираете суррогатных матерей к биородителям? Будут ли какие-то варианты? Конечно, у нас всегда, мы стараемся, чтобы для наших пациентов всегда был выбор. Суррогатных мам, кандидатов действительно очень много, но проходят не все так как у нас очень жесткое медицинское обследование женщин. Мы всегда стараемся очень и из-за высокого спроса у пациентов суррогатных мам выбирают обычно очень быстро. Но мы стараемся все-таки, чтобы у наших пациентов был выбор. И, ну, Надия. Because of the high demand, um, the surrogate mothers are usually accepted into the programs really fast, because people are willing to accept a candidate as soon as possible. But we still do our best to offer our clients uh, a choice. Но если даже вам предложили одного кандидата, вы можете быть абсолютно уверены, что вам предлагают суррогатную маму абсолютно здоровую, физически, психически, которая способна выносить вам здорового, крепкого малыша. Uh, extended examinations, all the analysis, and that this person is healthy, healthy physically and mentally, and is completely able to uh, to give birth to uh, a healthy child. 
и каждого кандидата в суррогатные мамы, каждую женщину на возможность ее вступления в программу после завершения обследования утверждает консилиум докторов во главе с главврачом. Each surrogate mother to be accepted as a surrogate mother into the program has to be approved by a commission of doctors. So there are a couple of doctors who take make this decision, and the final decision is always made by our head doctor. Следующий вопрос. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. Uh, where do the surrogates live uh, whilst they are pregnant? Uh, где живут суррогатные мамы во время беременности? Ну, как правило, до 22-26 недели беременности они живут у себя дома по месту жительства. As a rule, up to the 22nd to 26th week of pregnancy, the circuit mothers uh, live uh, at their own homes with their families. После этого срока они переезжают в Киев на съемные квартиры. After that period of time, uh, they moved to Kiev to live uh, in the uh, apartment. Provided by us. Если по каким-либо причинам, по медицинским показателям, суррогатную маму необходимо перевести в Киев ближе к, док к нашим докторам э на более ранних сроках, безусловно, мы это делаем. If there are any, any medical reasons or indication that a surrogate mother requires any special attention earlier on during the pregnancy, uh, we organize um, the surrogate mothers to move to Kiev on earlier stages of, of the pregnancy. Если же беременность у нас одноплодная беременность протекает нормально и девочка живет, суррогатная мама живет недалеко от Киева и есть возможность, например, на машине лично добираться, чтобы ее возили добираться к нам в клинику, то при разрешении доктора мы можем перевозить ее в Киев со срока там 30-32 недели. Uh, if the surrogate mother has a, signal, a, sing, a single pregnancy and if she lives uh, near Kiev or in Kiev and if she uh, is able to reach Kiev safely in a personal car, so if transportation is no problem, then it is possible to uh, allow her to move to Kiev at the 30th or 32nd weeks of pregnancy. Для безопасности беременных суррогатных мам, как правило, мы селим их по двое для того, чтобы всегда была возможность второму человеку к нам обратиться, если вдруг случилась какая-то непредвиденная ситуация. For surrogate mother's own safety, we usually uh, arrange them into the apartments uh, by two, so uh, they're together, and in case uh, one surrogate mother has any predicament or any unexpected circumstances, the second surrogate mother uh, can always contact the coordinator to uh, let them know uh, of the problem. Uh, если же необходимо uh, суррогатной маме, если она переезжает, переезжает с семьей или с детками, мы предоставляем ей отдельную квартиру. In case the surrogate mother prefers to move to Kiev with uh, her family, with her children, then of course we provide a separate um, apartment for her. Uh, следующий вопрос. Thank you. And next, uh, what is the social background of the surrogates? Are they married? Do they already have children? Have they been surrogates before? Did they go to university? A couple of questions together. Какой в основном у суррогатных матерей социальный статус? Замужем ли они? Есть ли у них дети? Были ли они ранее суррогатными матерями? Ходили ли они в университет? Суррогатные мамы у нас абсолютно разные. Вот. Это могут быть женщины, имеющие высшее образование, так и не имеющие высшего образования. The surrogate mothers are a very different people, uh, and they have different social backgrounds. Uh, they, there can be people with um, higher education, or those can be people without higher education. It really depends on the personal case of the surrogate mother. Из 30 суррогатных мам, кандидатов суррогатной мамы к нам доходит до вступления в программу только одна женщина. Out of the 30 possible uh, surrogacy candidates that come to our clinic willing to become surrogate mothers, only statistically, only one of them uh, becomes a surrogate mother and enters the program. Uh, поэтому наши суррогатные мамы, uh, даже если без высшего образования, которые не заканчивали университеты, но это женщины, uh, которые способны uh, 
выполнять все рекомендации назначения докторов. Uh, this means that uh, even if they don't have higher education, if they didn't go to the university, they're still, uh, they are the people who are able to follow all the doctor's instructions and who are um, conscientious enough to carry out uh, all the medications and are able to give birth to a healthy child. Также по законодательству Украины суррогатной мамой стать может только та женщина, у которой есть хотя бы один ребенок. Поэтому у наших суррогатных мам обязательно есть свои дети. According to uh, Ukrainian legislation, uh, only a woman who already has uh, at least one child uh, can become a surrogate mother. So all of the Ivan Med uh, medical uh, surrogate mothers already have at least one child. Также суррогатные мамы могут быть замужем, а могут быть и незамужние женщины. Surrogate mothers can be both married or unmarried. Следующий вопрос. Next question, please. Yeah, um, uh, how do you ensure the surrogate is alcohol, smoke and drug free during her pregnancy? Каким образом вы проверяете, что суррогатная мама не употребляет алкоголь, не курит и не пользуется наркотическими средствами во время беременности? Сначала до вступления в программу все кандидаты суррогатной мамы предоставляют нам сертификат от нарколога, что они не употребляют наркотики и не употребляют алкоголь. Before entering the program, all surrogate mothers provide us with the certificate from the narcologist that uh, they don't use uh, any uh, alcohol or drugs. Также с момента вступления в программу мы производим независимые неожиданные экспресс-тесты. Once the program has already started, uh, we uh, carry out express tests, uh, random express tests, so the surrogate mothers don't know when uh, this testing is going to happen. Также при вступлении в программу с каждым, с каждой кандидаткой суррогатной мамы оговаривается, что э, она осознает то, что она не должна употреблять э, эти вещества на протяжении всей беременности до да, окончания программы. Also, before entering the program, there's, there's a conversation that we carry out with the surrogate mother that we make her understand that... Uh, Alcohol uh, smoking and drug abuse is not acceptable during the program, uh, and uh, that it's not possible to do it. And we make sure that she is aware of that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next, uh, we do uh, do not want to be liable to pay for medical costs to care for a premature baby. How do we ensure our insurance will cover this in our contract? Uh, is full uh, need queue all medical costs included if required for early birth when the baby is born? Yes, Nadia. Uh, we can move to the next slide. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just to explain yeah. more. Um, so uh, yes, that is a quite frequent request from our uh, potential um, patients. Uh, if we could uh, provide uh, this type of insurance, again, there is no such special insurance, for example, existing in Ukraine. But uh, following this request, we uh, decided to include in our surrogacy programs um, the covering of uh, this uh, intensive care nursery uh, expenses. And uh, we offer to our uh, intended parents uh, the insurance on the next, on the following conditions. Uh, we cover uh, in guaranteed programs in unlimited um, amount uh, premature regardless uh, uh, premature or mature uh, born child uh, we car unlimited medical care for the uh, term of stay in kiev uh, and uh, uh, it just depends on the pregnancy if that is a twin pregnancy, we cover only up to 5,000 euro. And uh, in case if it is single pregnancy, uh, you should understand that the risk for twin pregnancy 
is much higher regarding uh, early births. And uh, for single pregnancy, uh, we cover uh, in a limited manner. Uh, if you purchase a standard program, in standard program, we do not include uh, insurance for NICU, but you can purchase it separately for 2,500 euro, and uh, there will be the same conditions as I told about. about them. Uh, we continue. The next question, uh, what happens if the surrogate unexpectedly goes into labor at 2 a.m.? Natalia, please. Что происходит, если суррогатная мама внезапно начинает рожать в 2 часа ночи? Это один, из моих... <laughs> Это один из моих любимых вопросов. <laughs> It's one of Natalia's favorite questions. Uh, на самом деле вопрос действительно очень серьезный. Uh, у нашей суррогатной мамы всегда есть несколько телефонов, куда, по которым она может обратиться в случае, если ей необходима помощь. И это не обязательно роды. Даже если просто ее что-то смущает в ее состоянии, меняется ощущение, самочувствие, давление, восприятие, все что угодно, она звонит координатору. Uh, changes in her, um, her feelings, in her comfort, then uh, she's expected to contact her personal coordinator. Uh, она может обратиться в клинику или док к доктору. She can also contact the clinic uh, or the doctor directly. Также она может обратиться и в скорую помощь, которая ее госпитализирует по, либо в указанный роддом, если это роды, либо по состоянию просто в ближайший роддом для оказания ей медицинской помощи. She also has the contacts of the emergency services, so in case she needs urgent assistance, she can call the ambulance and she will be hospitalized in the maternity hospital if it's labor or if it's uh, any other problems, then she will be uh, hospitalized uh, uh, into the respective institution. В любом случае, что бы ни происходило с нашей сурогатной мамой, с наступлением у нее беременность и до окончания программы, у нее всегда есть несколько вариантов телефонов, чтобы она в любое время суток могла обратиться за помощью. Uh, in any case, the most important thing is that whatever happens to her, whatever um, predicaments she faces, she has several phone numbers and she can, uh, she can be sure that she will uh, reach help in a very short time and she will be helped. Как правило, если uh, суррогатная мама uh, замужем и uh, мы берем телефон и мужа, то есть или да, подруги, мамы, каких-то ближайших родственников на случай чего, чтобы мы имели контакт для того, чтобы помочь суррогатной маме. In case the surrogate mother is married, we uh, also take the husband's contact details, uh, or it can also be the surrogate uh, mother's mother, or a friend, or any uh, close people to her, so that we can uh, also have additional um, contacts in case we need to, to get hold of her, her family. Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, to what extent is contact encouraged between the surrogate and the intended parents? В какой степени позволен контакт между суррогатными мамами и биологическими родителями? Ни нашим суррогатным мамам, ни пациентам мы не запрещаем общаться. So from the side of the clinic, there are no, there is no prohibition uh, to, uh, in terms of communication between the surrogate mother uh, and the intended parents. Если пациенты хотят общаться со своей суррогатной мамой при согласии обеих сторон, они могут общаться столько, сколько хотят. 
if the surrogate, uh, if the uh, intended parents uh, have a, such a desire and if the surrogate mother has nothing against it, uh, it is possible to uh, that the surrogate mother and the intended parents are uh, in constant communication and there are no limitations to that. Также, если по каким-либо причинам, например, по причине незнания языка, вы не сможете общаться со своей суррогатной мамой, мы на протяжении всей беременности все равно фотографируем вам суррогатную маму, присылаем видео УЗИ вашего малыша, то есть в любом случае вы будете с ней контактировать. Uh, during the pregnancy, we will send you the photos and videos of the circuit mother, and also you will uh, regularly receive the uh, ultrasound checkups, ultrasound reports, photos, uh, videos. So you will, uh, one way or another, you will be in contact with the surrogate mother. Вы можете абсолютно не переживать, что пропустите какой-то этап развития вашего малыша до появления его на свет. Вы будете вместе с ним расти, двигаться видеться, слышать вашего малыша на видео, поэтому можете за это не переживать. You can, uh, I just want to add a little bit, just if you want to communicate with your surrogate mother, it's absolutely possible to arrange uh, when your surrogate mother visits medical center for some regular checkup. Uh, our coordinator may uh, arrange a Skype interview, Skype uh, conversation. So uh, even if you can communicate directly, again, due to uh, linguistic uh, limitation, but uh, your card personal coordinator will always help you with the conversation. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what hospital do you use for the birth? Idea. Um, uh, we we can offer to our intended parents uh, a few option, options. Options, uh, for example, if intended parents want to uh, just purchase a standard package. In our standard package, we include the cost for uh, state maternity hospital. Of course, it is um, is one of the best uh, state hospitals. Uh, but if you want um, just to purchase additional option uh, to have delivery in private maternity hospital, it is also possible to just pay some extra cost for that. And we arrange uh, delivery in um, some uh, in, in uh, private maternity hospital. Uh, but you should understand um, if there is a that is a mature child birth, uh, everything goes to the standard uh, shame. But if uh, there is a premature delivery, uh, there are no such a big um, variety of options. There are two medical facilities in Kiev. Uh, that are specialized uh, for taking delivery uh, in case of uh, early births. Uh, and um, they are uh, equipped on a quite high uh, level and um, they provide caring about these um, weak children. And uh, they have uh, quite high, uh, quite high uh, success rates in uh, um, achieving uh, in developing the, uh, helping developing these kids to the at least two three months of their life uh, so um, as you understand there are some limitations which are uh, so some circumstances limitate our choice of uh, uh, maternity hospital but if there everything goes to the order according to the order um, yes you can choose private or we can uh, just make a standard uh, program with a uh, state maternity hospital thank you um, uh, can we be assured not to be offered an a um, rh negative surrogate natalia please mm -hmm. можем ли мы быть уверены что нам не предложат суррогатную маму с негативным резусом 
Когда мы предлагаем кандидатов суррогатных мам нашим пациентам, мы всегда даем профайл суррогатной мамы, где описано полностью, кто она, сколько у нее детей, и есть так называемый медицинский анамнез. When we offer uh, our patients the profile of the surrogate mother, uh, there is also uh, some information there about uh, her uh, basic information, her, uh, if she, how many children she has, and that sort of information. And also there is a part that's called uh, medical analysis. В котором указано, сколько родов было у суррогатной мамы, какая у нее группа, и рез, группа крови и резус фактор. Вы всегда можете, если необходима какая-то дополнительная информация о здоровье кандидата в суррогатной мамы, вы всегда можете ее запросить. If there is any specific information or any additional information you would like to have about your surrogate mother, it's always possible to make such a request and our coordinators will provide you with their respective information. Поэтому любая информация о результатах медицинского обследования кандидата, она абсолютно для вас доступна. Any results of the medical examination of the uh, candidates to the surrogacy programs uh, is uh, completely available uh, to our patients. And can be requested. Thank you. Uh, we have already finished our presentation and our questions. Uh, thank you to all the speakers, uh, Nadia, Natalia. Uh, Nadia, for your help, I just um, need to check uh, questions from our chat. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I understood, we, you answered all the questions. A lot of questions for today, anyway, <laughs> yes, we answered all the questions. And that's why I, I hope that our patients satisfied with it, yeah, and now they uh, have information to think about and so on. Okay, so we will finish our uh, webinar. Uh, thank you for your time that you join us. Uh, please uh, join our next webinar on next Friday. We will be glad to see you again. So thank you for your time. Take care and see you next time. Bye. See you. Bye.